Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter blog and today I'm going to show you a bunch of outgoing mail. Now, you may hear it in my voice, but I'm sick once again. Mm -hmm. I uh, feel like I just recovered from my stomach flu and now I have a regular flu. I had a good week, maybe two, and now I'm sick again. I don't know what is going on. I used to never get sick and now... Here I am, sick twice in a row. But hopefully after that, it's I'm done. I'm eating all of my vegetables, eating all of my fruits, I'm getting my vitamins, I'm getting enough sunshine, I'm getting enough sleep, but um, it still seems like I'm not taking good care enough of myself. But because I'm feeling crappy, let me be honest, um, I thought I'm not going to spend a couple of hours in front of my computer to edit the Incoming P.O. Box Meal uh, Part 2 video, I figured I would instead continue editing and um, do a little voiceover for a video I already um, edited a little while ago, <laughs> which is this one, of course. So long story short, no P.O. Box opening video today. I did already upload Part 1 on Friday. So you can go check that out if you like, but this video will also be filled with a ton of Happy Meal inspiration. Um, these are meals I sent out in October, November, maybe even December, I don't actually remember. <laughs> so that's quite a while ago. Uh, I just never got around to uploading this. I also like keeping a few videos um, in my on my computer just in case something like this happens where I get sick and I don't actually have time to make a new video. So there's that. Um, now I do promise, or I'm hoping at least, let me not make promises I cannot keep. I'm hoping to upload the, um, the PO box opening video part two on Friday. So if your mail is in that video, <sighs> I'm really sorry for the delay, but there's not much I can do right now. <laughs> but um, I accidentally closed my, oh, there I am. Hey, hey Vivian, I have to, I don't know. I'm not making a lot of sense. I have a flu. Okay, forgive me um, So a long story short these are all clips from different mails I sent out in la Last year, let me just say last year. I sent them out to pen pals to Subscribers, of course. I hope I can remember each and every one of them um, but uh, I'm, ugh, I don't know. Let me stop this little chat and go over to voice uh, voice, voiceover. Let me go over to a voiceover. Wow, Vivian. And I hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless. Let me know in a comment down below um, any outgoing meal you have created in the last uh, couple of weeks. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I will talk you through them, but um, <laughs> thank you for watching. Bye bye. In the meantime, I also have to watch my cat who's playing in the garden. Uh, I have to make sure she doesn't go to the neighbors. This one went out to Izzy. I remember quite clearly. I uh, This is just the envelope and I'm also going to show you what is inside. She sent me a lovely letter uh, in the PR box and I replied to her and she already replied to me again, which is great fun. In the background, I have a little um, gift bag and I craft paper doily that I received from someone last year and then I just uh, put one of my handmade embellishments on the front as well and of course alpha thickers rose gold alpha thickers I mean can it get any cooler than that uh, saying Izzy we've got some tea some goodies for her a little cute little card I um, also included a few um, washi stickers and that is a December um, stamp from the Netherlands. I also included some uh, washi, no not washi, wax seal stamps I made. I always really like including them. You can just put them on your envelope with glue or double-sided tape or you can put them in a journal or on an embellishment, on a flip book. And these adorable marshmallow stickers from Pip Sticks. I received so many cute, and that's just a paper scrap, I received so many cute stickers in the Pip Sticks pack and I'm really trying to share them with as many of you as possible because even though I loved those marshmallow stickers, I knew I wasn't going to be able to use all of them. Um, then this little folder, 
Am I talking here? Oh my hey, God. when I'm filming this, it's Monday morning, which means that I will have my therapy appointment today. And that also means that I will be dropping off my outgoing meals because there is a mailbox at the station. I have about two minutes to quickly show you this, but I thought it would be fun. Um, so this is just a quick little snail mail. As you can see here, it just says snail mail on the back. Um, and then this is what it looks like. It's really simple, but I thought it would be a cute way to wrap up the letter and add some little goodies. <sighs> Sorry for my sick voice. <laughs> um, so here on the left, we just have a little wax seal stand that I got from Sahara. I thought it matched all the colors pretty well. And then uh, this is just a, a decorated paper clip. I made a little banner and added some little elements and that's up here and then whoop, on the inside we have uh, these pretty sticky notes oh my voice uh, and i just have um i made a wash washy sample washy samples my brain is not working on this gold paper and it's held in place by the paper clip and then i decorated the page with uh, these letters that say hi <laughs> and uh, these little sort of puffy stickers and then this is actually a vellum envelope it's like the main part of this mail and in there is my letter obviously not showing you that and then here on the left we have this amazing amazingly cute uh, puffy sticker with an aloe vera I think it is or <laughs> some sort of succulent and then uh, some um, a big bag filled with stickers over here so it's really simple but I don't know, I thought it would be a cute way to incorporate something extra in the letter. And I'm going to wrap it with this wrapping paper, I don't know how. This is the weirdest thing ever. I, I was just editing this video and then I realized, hey, I think I'm actually like live talking in. There's a very annoying big fly in the house because Nuz is playing in the garden and I have to leave the door open, but I was re I realized like, hey, I'm talking in the background of this video, so I just decided to play that instead of a voiceover. And how big of a coincidence is it that I'm sick <laughs> in this video, and then I'm also sick now? I think I might even be wearing the same pants, like not the, not completely the same outfit, but other than that, it's the same. How crazy! This is such a coincidence. But we're back to the voiceover. This is another uh, subscriber mail I made. I don't actually remember who this went to, but these are just some really adorable a little... Um... Oh, Gabriella, of course. Adorable goodies I wrapped up, adorable Project Live tags. And what I did is I created a circle fall themed mail using a peg. Is it called? No, it's not called a peg. A pin? Uh oh, what are they called? I will show you probably in the back and I um, stamped her name Gabriella and then I did uh, heat embossing because I have that beautiful like wine red embossing powder you see that orange thing on the top that's what I used I cannot actually remember I have a side pocket there that's my letter and I just put it on the page with like a little strip of orange paper i'm not usually comfortable with the color orange don't ask me why but this i really like seeing this again <laughs> i'm really happy that I, uh, I i i made a video of this because it's kind of fun to see your own creations yeah they're all fall themed i do different things with them washi type samples by the way if you want to see some more mail i created be, uh, uh, this just this just reminds me of uh, something fun my pen pal Roxanne she also has a YouTube channel and a little while ago she um, uploaded a pen pal journal video where she basically put some mail of me <laughs> on a pen pal journal page and it was so much fun because she actually kept all of I'm talking again she actually kept all of the mail I sent her over the last couple of weeks I don't know why I'm showing you this I think I'm showing you this because I'm wearing the socks that Anne sent me and this was a little subscriber mail I sent out to Brittany I'm pretty sure she was from the USA or Australia oops I don't remember I shared a picture of that little folder on Instagram and a lot of people told me they wanted a tutorial I just realized this now because I completely forgot to make a tutorial <laughs> and that was an Etsy order 
this is a card I made for one of my uh, therapy friends like a few of the girls I was in therapy with I just clicked with we really had a connection and I still write with one of them and I still talk to to other girls as well but then not offline but online <laughs> and in real life as well but we write letters now and that is just so much fun I made her that card with my stamping set and it says thank you for helping me grow which is very applicable and then this is a little fall themed meal I made that adorable postcard is from one of my I think I can call her a friend now one of my Instagram friends little lefty Lou I turned that card into a loaded card basically I just put a lot of pockets on the back um, it's all fall themed I never felt comfortable with fall colors because it's all like orange and yellow and red and those are not my colors but when I finally got into making fall themed meal as you can see I went all out I really hope you cannot hear that annoying fly this one went out to as I can see on the top Katarina I'm pretty sure oh my memory is so bad it's not that I don't care who I send this to obviously I do but I am so terrible with names and with remembering these kind of things oh it's horrible this is to one of my pen pals I'm pretty sure uh, Lisa um, that's actually a funny story as well like I just told you that I'm writing with one of my I just wanted to show you the paper because it's gorgeous I got it from the girlfriend of my cousin she already knows me so well she got me letter writing paper for my birthday but what I was saying is that I w I'm writing letters with one of my therapy friends and Lisa the girl I wrote this letter to is actually one of my um, kindergarten friends how do you say that like we used to play together as kids and she used to live very close to my parents and then we lost touch for a couple of years like actually like 10 years or something like we would still stay up to date with each other on like Instagram or Facebook or something but we never really talked and then she decided to look for pen pals and she accidentally found my Instagram and she messaged me like hey do you want to write with me because you know I'm looking for pen pals and we used to know each other and we've been reconnecting over mail and that has been so much fun this is another uh, loaded tag loaded card I should make say I made um, I think this one went out to Rosita um, as you can see I it, it's a color in postcard I colored in the front first and then I put a uh, project life card on the back and I put in a ton of goodies uh, washi tape sample as you can see this was really in like December or something because it, it's all wintry washi types and wintry things and this one went out to um, Daisy this was my recycle recyclable <laughs> flip book I have a video on that I will link it down below this was when I did a collaboration with a Dutch um, a Dutch paper store post and papier uh, this is her own collection of um, stationery and I made a winter themed loaded gift bag and this one went out to Emmy as you can see on the front so that's also a subscriber mail it's so nice to see all of these again oh my gosh <laughs> I'm not patting myself on the back but it's just I don't know I'm kind of proud of all of these things so these are some of the things I sent her that's like a tea tag and a washi type tag and uh, all wintery thee themed things and some stickers oh I think I have to sneeze um, some sparkly stickers and some as you can see on the right yes Vivian show the stamps I sent her some clear stamps I don't know if everybody loves using clear stamps as much as I do but I think they are such a fun gift like they can be quite light when you send them in mail and uh, I don't know I love clear stamps <laughs> so I sent her that pack with like photo themed Polaroid uh, kind of clear stamps then this one I sent out to my friend Kira she also has a YouTube channel um, she actually inspired me to start this YouTube channel <laughs> a little side note uh, I sent that out to her I also saw this meal um, in her incoming mail video which was so cool to see my mail in a video for once instead of being the one who makes the videos as you can see I did like kind of a botanical vintage theme uh, I don't 
it, this is this feels like very out of my comfort zone, but I do also like that. And I know that Kira is the right person to uh, try things out with because she's <laughs> she's someone who always uh, encourages other people to try out new things. So I thought for her meal, I'm going to try something different. Although to you, this may seem like my style. It, it, it's a little bit different from what I usually do. So I made her a flip book, obviously. <laughs> I'm, it's very difficult to show mail and film with only one hand. So yeah, there's that flip book for Kira. I will link her down below if you want to check her out as well. Then another pen pal of mine is Elia. She also has an Instagram page. I will link that down as well. I made her a an... Um, I forgot the name, an accordion folder, duh. Like, I love doing these. And there's another one of those things. What are they called? I cannot remember. It's not a peg, it's not a pin. Maybe it's a pin, I don't know. But I got these adorable little pins with like an apple on it. And the other one has, I don't know, a colorful design from Wendy. <laughs> I cannot open it with one hand. I'm still struggling. Go Vivian, you can do this. But um, after I did the tutorial videos for the accordion folder, I never actually made accordion folders anymore. So I was quite excited to do one for myself again and I'm quite excited to do one now. <laughs> so I stuffed that with goodies. Oh yeah, always makes the prettiest meal. So I did want to try and um, repay the favor. I will link the accordion folder tutorial down below as well if I haven't said that already. Woo, I managed to talk you through everything. I really hope my sick voice is not too annoying. Um, but I am glad that I managed to upload a video after all. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. Help a sick girl out, okay? <laughs> and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye for now.